How long have you been a part of the Vine Sauce uh, community as a uh, member? <laughs> well, um, I could say I've been watching Vinny for about eight years now. I think since I was about twelve. Um, but I'm always I'm always a, a lot of a lurker when it comes to online communities like this. I'll occasionally make art. I'll occasionally, um, you know, do community things, and I'll pop up and chat every now and again. But I'm generally more of a quiet watcher. Um, but yeah, so it's really only been here recently um, that I've really started to branch out and talk to other fans and do stuff like that. But I did introduce it to my um, girlfriend and just talk people casually, just not doing a lot of art or anything. So how has being a part of the uh, Vine Sauce community affected you, like, your life um, for the good in these uh, eight <laughs> um, years? In these eight years. Um, well, I, I had a pretty difficult childhood, and since I've obviously been watching Vinny since I was 12, um, he's really been there for me, especially because I have a lot of um, mental and physical disabilities. So sometimes when I was bedridden from my depression or from my fibromyalgia, um, I was always put on his streams and listened to them and watched them, and he's always just kind of been a comforting, um, comforting um, sort of routine in my life. So it's really helped me through some really difficult times um, being a part of this community. If you wanted to tell Vinny something, if he were to see this, uh, what what would you say to support him and uh, just like give a message to him? <laughs> oh god that would be a lot of things you know watching someone for eight years especially in your formative years especially when you're a lot younger um you really start to develop a you know a, a pair a deeper parasocial relationship with them um there's honestly too much that i could say to the man <laughs> that i could contain in um you know one video or one sort of sort of sound clip um that I love him, man. <laughs> that um, that he's been such a positive impact on my life that I just wish him the best. And <laughs> that I wouldn't be the person I am today without him. Yeah, man. Uh, it's about... I started seeing suggesteds on YouTube uh, around 2016, but... I was not used to watching long, long, long forms of playthroughs. I was more used to the Game Grumps and a couple other things, a couple other uh, channels on YouTube that did like 10, 20, 10, 15, 20 minutes uh, per episode. So I was like, I don't know if I can do this. Uh, but 2017, uh, being the year that it was, allowed me plenty of free time to really watch whatever and vine sauce was still being suggested and that's when I started like heavy duty like watching all of his stuff because I started digging him right away uh, just because of how he was like like ah, I can actually watch this guy for hours on end and not get annoyed by his voice so it was 2017 was the year I started like really getting into it he streams very, very late, and I'm asleep at that time because I work. I get up early. Like, I get up about two or three hours after he stops streaming, so thank goodness for full sauce uh, because um, it, it, full sauce kind of cuts it into each segment. So I never really get to go into chat unless there's the rare chance that there's, like, a, an online thing where there's, like, a direct or you know, online streaming of a game uh, thing where he commentates, and I've only been able to catch, like, one or two of those. Um, Ross streams at more normal hours, and I was I was able to get in on his more than uh, Vine, uh, Vine Sauce. But uh, I haven't really done any art. Uh, I'm very... Uh, I guess you, you could say, like, a, a, a lurker, um, because I, I, I never watch him... I very seldom watch him on Twitch unless there's like a VOD mute thing on YouTube. Then I want to go see what was muted on Twitch. 
uh, and watch the real thing. And um, so no, I mean I haven't. I, the only time I've really been uh, active in the community is what's been going on lately. Uh, and I have I've, I've made a handful of friends. I've been chatting with a lot more people, which I've been using Twitter a lot more collectively over the last three days than I have since I've started using Twitter. Uh, but uh, no, I mean, I, I, I just watch him and, and enjoy his content. I don't, sometimes I wish I could, uh, join in, um, because it does sound fun with him referencing chat so much, but you know, uh, I, yeah, uh, again, I, I, I don't, I don't think he, you know, he, he's, he's not the kind of guy that's like. Yeah, I like that. You know, I'm. I'm sure he appreciates the fans, like standing, being with him. But the way this has come about, I'm sure he's embarrassed about. But like, I, I, I'm not. Of course, we're all with him. We're not really going anywhere because we. It's not like we know him, but we sort of got to know him over the last, you know. 10 years or so, whatever, whenever he started streaming. And there's a reason you sort of stick around for someone for that long is because you find uh, things you have in common with that person, and there's a reason you stick around is because you you enjoy this person's company, you, you enjoy how they do things, and that's me. Uh, he's helped me through uh, a very, very, very bad year, and continuing on has gotten better. And he's been a big help in that because he—he's—he's he's a great dude. And we're—we're we're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. We—we we know what's up. Um, if I had to guess, I think it'd be 2015 is when I was introduced. Um, and I've basically been watching Vinny almost every night since. Um, I do watch Joel and Rev too, uh, but uh, favoritism. Vinny, I like Vin. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joel. I'm sorry, Rev. I'm sorry, Imukuni. Yeah, I like you all too. <laughs> but Vin is definitely one of my favorites. He's one of my favorite um, content creators in general. Um, and not just like in his videos, but his music as well, which I think a lot of people will probably say that and agree with me. I'm sure that's not a new opinion that, that I, I like Red Vox. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, watching Vin has really inspired me to want to do similar stuff. Um, and just... He's very he's very charismatic and selfless and like the way that he just the way that he presents himself is so true to life I feel and I kind of and the fact that he's still very entertaining to watch despite that fact even though you know a lot of other YouTubers tend to over exaggerate a lot and he certainly does do with his yeah and stuff like that but he still presents himself very true and as far as I can tell and I find that very inspiring that he's still one of the like the most watched people on Twitch. And I would love to do something similar. And he's definitely inspired me to get into music as well. Um, I have a guitar and a bass and stuff like that. Um, I'm still new to all of this, you know, I'm still in college, so I haven't exactly enacted any of these inspirations, but he's definitely been a huge inspiration for me as far as where I want my life to go in the future. I hope he's taken a trip up to the mountains and cleared his mind because I I know that helps him and I, I I'm gonna tell him do that if you haven't yet <laughs> and also get a hug from a friend if you can but you know COVID so try your best. <laughs> I probably started watching Vin sometime around 2015 or 2016. I haven't really been super in the community, but I definitely have been watching some of the streams, and especially on Full Sauce, been watching those videos as well since then. 
Well, I've just really enjoyed watching his content. Uh, I, I used to work overnight at a retail store and being able to come home and crawl in the bed after a graveyard shift and watch his videos till I fall, fell asleep was really nice. So it's definitely been a positive thing and something I've been coming back to. I would like to tell him that everyone has his back. Basically everywhere I've gone, people have had his back no matter or what the website is or who they are. I want him to know that even if what these people are saying is true, that it's very obvious they're trying to spin it a certain way and whatever he wants to do with his private uh, sexual life, that's completely his prerogative and there's absolutely nothing wrong with what he's been doing. I have been a Vine Sauce fan community member for about two to three years as a video editor for the Highlights channel. The Vine Sauce community has affected me positively in a way which has helped me find and reestablish my creative medium with editing videos. I think not only do I have to attribute credit to Vine Sauce but also Captain Southbird for overall inspiring me to make compilations of my own in the first place. I've already privately said what I needed to say to him, but I can reiterate. You have my support. I'm confident you did nothing wrong. And take as much time as you need. And I'll be here waiting for you to start streaming again. Take care. So you, so no, what you're basically you saying is you like to... <laughs> Jesus fucking <laughs> <laughs>